No one can escape laundry days, but having organized laundry and a beautiful piece of furniture for either your bathroom or laundry room is only a DIY project away. So I'm gonna show you how to make a laundry basket dresser. What you'll need is three laundry baskets, some plywood, pre-cut to size, pine slats, measuring tape, a speed square, short and long wood screws, wood glue, wood filler, spray paint and paint finish of your choice, orbital sander, jigsaw and power drill, and some caster wheels. The first step to take into account when starting this DIY project is to look at the measurements of your chosen laundry baskets. These are mine and I have three of them. So you want to take measurements of the length, the width, and the height. And guys, remember when it comes to the height of the basket, what I did was I added three centimeters onto that, making it 30. Because when I insert these three baskets into the wooden box frame of our dresser, I want them to have a bit more room and not be so squashed together. It's time to start working with our box frame for the baskets. These are my two side panels over here and they're 900 millimeters in length and here, are my top and my base wood pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up flush along the length of these panels over here and then make a pencil marking as this will help me determine my pilot holes and also take into account when I'm busy measuring out the cleat system for the drawers and the baskets. Our pilot holes are now measured out and it's time to measure out our cleat system. We have three baskets, so we need three cleats on either side of our side panels. And to do that, I'm using this pine bar over here, and I'm going to measure out at least a centimeter breathing space between each basket. But I need to take that into account when measuring out my lines. So, the basket is 27 centimeters, so I want a centimeter breathing space between each basket, so now it's 28 centimeters. Also taking into account the two centimeter lip of each basket. So my first measurement in will be at three, and then from there onwards, I'll just mark out 28 centimeters and another 28 centimeters. It's a good idea to write down your measurements to ensure you transfer the exact markings onto the second side of your project. The first side panel is done, and we have a second side panel, which is an exact mirror image of all these measurements on the first side panel. So I'm gonna take those exact measurements and do the same to the other side. The key to any successful DIY project is to measure twice. Remember, you can also design your laundry dresser according to your space. So plan out your project to ensure the desired final result. When drilling your pilot holes, make use of a piece of scrap wood not only does this protect the wood surface, but it also stops the wood from breaking out on the other side whilst drilling. My next step is to secure the cleats using wood glue and screws. If in a high humidity area, like a bathroom, you might want to opt for a waterproof wood glue. Ensure that you use screws that comfortably pass through the first piece of wood and bite into the side of your project. You don't want the screw to exit on the side of your laundry dresser. The cleats are now secure and it's time to assemble the frame. And you do the same motion with wood glue and screws and assemble the box. First some wood glue. Securing the base and the top can be rather tricky. So get an extra pair of hands to help or make use of some clamps. Use your fingers to feel where the wood lines up and manipulate the wood accordingly. Our box frame is looking good. Now I'm going to give it a good sanding, smooth out these edges, and then put a coat of wood sealant. When sanding, it's a good idea to start with 80 grit sandpaper to remove any roughness from the wood and finish off sanding the entire project with a 180 grit sandpaper. I am opting for a water-based tinted sealant as I want to enhance the wood grain for this project. For this project, I'm applying two coats of wood sealant. 
while my wood sealant is busy drying, I'm moving on to the laundry baskets. Now they're very ordinary looking, so I want to change the color and give it more of a classic look. And I'm using this two-in-one Paint and Primer spray paint. When spray painting, keep the can at a distance of 20 to 30 centimeters from the item being sprayed. Always spray in a well-ventilated room or outdoors. Before we insert the baskets in our dresser, I want to attach some caster wheels to the bottom of our dresser here. I'm going to do that by putting in some short wood screws with a screwdriver, and that way it gives it some mobility, it's easy to move around, you know, to get into those cleaning areas, and you can maybe even wheel it all the way to the washing machine. Use a measuring tape to mark out where you want your wheels to sit. Once marked out, simply use a screwdriver to attach the wheels with short wood screws. laundry basket dresser is now complete. Not only is it decorative, it's also functional. And for the finishing touches, I took these wooden hard plaques and I spray painted them white to act as labels for the different baskets. When it comes to adding comfort to a cold bathroom, soft towels and fragrant hand wash are sure winners. A nifty trick to make away with unsightly plastic bottles, like mouthwash or bath oils, is to pour it into a beautiful glass decanter and put it on display. Be selective on what you put out on display. Making use of a tray with glass bottles and containers make everyday items look stylish and organized. A scented candle brings a sense of calmness to your bathroom and a soft bath mat will bring warmth to a cold floor. Look what you can do with a couple of laundry baskets and some plywood. It's absolutely amazing. So guys, have fun, have someone help you. And who said laundry has to be boring?